What's up troopers and welcome to the Trooper Transmission. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can make a Weigh the Force Be With You protein smoothie. And you can download the recipe list down below in the description so that you can try Blastem Blueberry, we got Republic Raspberry, and then we have Senate Strawberry. And then I'm gonna walk you guys how to make a galactic green smoothie. This is the one that I make just about every single day and it's my favorite and I'll walk you through how to make this from start to finish. But first, let's talk about some of the benefits of a protein smoothie and particularly a whey protein smoothie. So whey protein is going to be the most absorbable. It has all nine essential amino acids. Protein is also the most satiating nutrient. So if you're in a fat loss phase, you're trying to lose weight, which puts you in a calorie deficit, having more protein in the system is gonna help you feel full longer because it takes the body longer to digest protein. Protein is also the essential building block for your muscle, but also your hair, your nails, and even your skin, and you need protein to survive. And last but not least, in addition to the protein, you're also getting a lot of minerals and vitamins, and especially fiber, from the different fruits that we're gonna be putting in these smoothies, and some of them are gonna have spinach in them as well, and so you're getting a lot of uh, really high food, high quality foods in these smoothies as well, in addition to helping you build the muscle and losing the fat as well. So let's start off with this galactic green smoothie. First thing that I'm gonna do is add some spinach. And now the first reason why I like to add spinach first is quite simply because it's a pain in the butt to get the protein powder after it's been blended off the bottom of the smoothie cup. So if we just put this down at the bottom, boom, good to go. And some of the benefits of spinach is that it's high in vitamin C and K, as well as uh, potassium and magnesium. That's been shown to help lower blood pressure and hypertension. And it's just nice to start your day off with some greens. So we're gonna start this smoothie off with some greens down at the base. After that, we're going to do a cup of Faye 0% Greek yogurt. And I like this for a few reasons. One, it is high in protein, 18 grams of protein for 90 calories. We're gonna do one cup of this. So we got our nice cup here. It's also a fermented food. So it's going to be rich in probiotics, which are going to help support your gut health. It also is low in sugar, especially compared to some of the other options that you can have from a Greek yogurt, even a yogurt standpoint. I once did a comparison with a client recently. He was having, I forget what it was, but it was some Greek yogurt that was essentially 220 calories and like 30 grams of sugar. Whereas this is 90 calories per serving and five, I think, grams of sugar. And so you're essentially just getting more bang for your buck in the form of protein. You're getting all of the health benefits without the additional calories and the additional sugar that a lot of us just don't need. So this is a cup. We're gonna put this in to the smoothie. And now I'm just measuring this as a cup to make sure that when I say it's a certain you know, macro profile or calorie profile, that that is what I'm showing you here. But I do find it a little bit cumbersome to have to put it in a cup every single time but for this practice here putting it into a cup and then we're putting it into uh, our smoothie uh, cup next we're going to add in a banana and so this was a really big banana so i'm only doing half for this recipe you're going to want to do a medium-sized banana or if you got a really big one just put in half a banana and bananas are really great to be adding to your smoothie they're going to be really high in potassium and for any athletes or anyone training doing the train like a trooper it's also going to help with muscle contraction and really help prevent any cramps one of the other things that i like about bananas too is that they are uh you know they're a little bit higher in carbs but it's a it's a carb that's going to support a lot of functions and you can have this right before a workout. It's easily digestible, quickly absorbable, and you're gonna be able to utilize this for energy going into a workout. Let's say you had it an hour before, you have half a banana, go and work out. But we're gonna put this into the smoothie that typically you would have after a workout or just at the beginning of your day to start the day off, like I said, with something that's high in protein, high in a bunch of uh, really important vitamins and minerals. Next, we're gonna add in the protein powder. So a couple things here, this is a whey protein. I talked about the benefits of, you know, just a protein powder and whey in, uh, specifically, but I know a lot of people are working around dietary restrictions as well. So maybe something, uh, you know, dairy related doesn't digest well. I would say you could go the route of a plant-based pro or a pea, I use a pea-based protein. Uh, my wife and I, if, if we don't have this, uh, it's called cost, but essentially if you don't digest this, then go a plant-based route but I would always recommend having 
you know, at least 20 to 25 grams of protein in your smoothie every time you have it. You can definitely double scoop this as well. That's something that I'll talk a lot about with clients where they're saying, I am not able to get enough protein. I'm like, just put two scoops in. If you put two scoops in, you're not going to really notice a difference in terms of quantity of food, but you're gonna all of a sudden be, this one I believe is 24 grams. So that's 48 grams protein or the Greek yogurt's 18. That would get you to like, now I'm doing math on the spot. Uh, 48 plus 18, I think is 66, right? So that's in this little thing, that's a great amount to be getting. Uh, but again, if you don't handle dairy, you can definitely go the alternate route and that's gonna be something you can grab in that recipe list. I have a few different options for things you can swap out as needed for your dietary restrictions. But we pop this in, this is the last little bit. One last thing I would say with your protein powder is find one that you enjoy, find one that tastes good. If you absolutely hate the taste of it, you're not gonna create the neural connection that this is something that you want to do. So if you can wake up in the morning and you're like, mm, I like this taste, I want to move towards that, you're gonna be much more likely to get into the habit and start doing this right away. Last but not least, you're gonna add some ice and some water as a base, just to give it a little bit more of a liquid texture. So we fill that up. And then a couple other things with this, if you are, let's say, in a gaining phase and you want to make this a higher calorie smoothie, you can definitely add in an almond milk, a regular milk. I was even using chocolate milk when I was trying to get 37, 3,800 calories uh, in a gaining phase recently. And the water is just a way to get the liquid that you want, the texture that you want without the additional calories. Liquid calories obviously is one of the fastest ways to scale calories. If that's your goal, use liquid calories. If you're trying to lose fat, if you're trying to lean out, then you definitely would want to go the water route. The ice just adds a little bit of texture that I like as well. So it's got that smoothie texture. And now we are ready to blend this galactic green smoothie. We've got the spinach, we've got the Greek yogurt, we've got the banana, we've got the protein powder, and we've got the ice and water as a base. So we'll blend this up. So there you have it. One galactic green protein smoothie. Way the force be with you style. And so you can pour this into a cup. And as you see, it's got a nice green look from the spinach. And again, benefits here. We're looking at helping with recovery after a training session. We're looking at helping give you the essential building blocks uh, for building the muscle that you want. It's gonna help, especially if you're in a cutting phase with satiation so that you aren't feeling as full. Slam one of these and you're going to feel full for several hours, uh, which is one of the benefits of a protein smoothie. As I mentioned, we got Blast and Blueberry, Republic Raspberry, Senate Strawberry, Galactic Green. You can download these down below in the description. We've got a recipe list. This particular one, and a lot of these are, are really similar. This particular one is 312 calories, 44 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbohydrates, I think one gram of fat. And obviously you can create variations of these as you'd like, but I find these to be really simple. Three, four ingredients max. Uh, really easy to put down and honestly, pretty tasty. If you got any questions, drop them down below. And if you are doing Train Like a Trooper, make sure and get on this and add this to your daily routine. This is going to help you immensely. If you wanna get fit for the Republic, Way the Force Be With You Protein Smoothies is the way to go. Thank you for watching. This is CT3939 signing out. I'll catch you guys on the next Trooper Transmission.